Looking for tips on all things art business related? Social media for artists? Or one line art? This is the place for you. Welcome to my channel. Hi guys, welcome to my channel one more time. Today I'm going to be talking about font pairings. I know you might be wondering, why is she devoting a whole video just to font pairings? Well, it turns out that the way you pair fonts is very important to designers. It's very important for design. And if you are a small business owner like I am, and you have your hands on everything at the same time, then creating um, designs by yourself when you have no design education is actually quite intimidating. And having fonts that I know I can pair together and I know they're gonna look good has given me all the peace of mind in the world. When I sit down to make a design, I don't have to worry about whether or not these fonts look good together. It's definitely my go-to and I know that everything I put out there is gonna look like I know what I'm doing, right? So in this video, I'm going to be showing you which are the three font pairings that I use pretty much on everything I design. And I'm going to love if we can um, exchange uh, font pairings if you have ones that work for you as well. Now, without further ado, let's get right to it. Okay guys, so I am here in my Adobe Express. As you guys can see, I've already opened up my last file. I prepared this file just for the sole purpose of sharing which are the fonts that I use the most. So um, in this first example, I these are the fonts that I use, I would say 90% of the time. This one is Lato, um, Lato regular for the number. And then I have Adobe Garamond Pro Italic. So this is, and this is the italic version, but I also use the, just the regular version of it. So like this, not ital italized, italicized. I don't know how you say that. <laughs> so um, this is uh, my first combo. The second one, uh, and I forgot to say, this one is actually my most, I would say official one. This is the one that I use whenever I have to create something that needs to look like my brand. We are going to dedicate a whole other video to um, keeping it consistent and keeping your brand look homogenic in your socials, but that's another thing. So this is the one I use the most for my brand and therefore the one that I use the most frequently out of the three pairings that I use. Then I have, um, let me see. This one's Ambrose uh, STD Regular. This also this is also an Adobe font. It's also available on Adobe Express, and I pair it with Brandon Brandon Grotesque. I love this pairing because this looks super fancy and super squiggly and and really classic. It's actually um, a serif a serif uh, um, font, if I'm not mistaken. Um, don't kill me designers out there. So it means that it has like this little endings at the end of the letters So you see at the top here and uh, The bottom one so Brandon Grotesque is a sans serif font. So it's more modern and more clean looking so it's actually a really good uh, font pairing as well um, this one makes uh, my reading my creative look very understandable. So the title is pretty enough to call the attention, but then the text or the body is um, simple enough to be uh, easy to understand. And then last but not least, there is um, Proxima Nova Regular and Europa Light, the light version. So hello, uh, Europa Light Light. Um, and this is my like, um, clean cut, no fancy stuff combo. This one I use when I need something to be uh, straightforward, undistracting, and just pretty much um, as clean cut as possible. This is, uh, I, I use for like 
class material on Skillshare. I use this for whenever I want someone to just focus on what it is saying versus on how it looks. And this is definitely something that I use whenever I don't want to distract my readers um, or the person that's interacting with my content in any way. Um, I think these three combos or these three pairings are really important to me. This one because it means it is my identity and it is um, the one that people see and know that it is my brand. Then there's this one that is, you know, pretty enough to call the attention, but clean enough to deliver the message. And this one that's like, uh, just get the message across. Just get it across. I use this for pricing. I use this for regulation, for policy, for uh, reviewing uh, my artistic work whenever someone makes a commission. And yeah, I really hope that was useful. Um, if you have any questions, doubt, doubts or concerns, not only about Adobe Express, but also about one line art or art small businesses, please be sure to reach out to me on my socials or here on YouTube. If you have not subscribed yet, please subscribe and subscribe and hit the bell button. I will be putting out videos consistently on how to deal with your small business as an artist, on how to draw using one line art, and of course, on how to thrive using Adobe Express. Without further ado, see you guys next time. Bye-bye.